Chapter 1 Reaction Kinetics 1 by 1 Reaction Rate Part 1 1.1 Reaction Rate And this is our learning outcome Chemical kinetics is the study of the rates of chemical reactions, the factors that affect these rates and the reaction mechanism by which reactions occur, which is important in industrial process, especially in terms of time, optimizing the results and condition. The rate of reaction is the change in concentration of a reactant or product per unit of time. For example, from A to produce B, the rate is equal to change in concentration A over period of time. Or, rate is equal to change in concentration of B over period of time. The negative sign shows that the concentration of reactant decreases with time while the positive signs show that the concentration of product increases with time and the unit for reaction rate is molar per time and the unit of time it can be in second, minute, hour, day or year. The average rate is the rate over a period of time. The rate of reaction at given time is called an instantaneous rate of reaction. The instantaneous rate at the beginning of a reaction is called the initial rate of reaction. Instantaneous rate is determined from a graph of concentration versus time by drawing a line tangent to the curve at that particular time. As we can see from the graph, for the chemical reaction, the reaction rates are obtained from the slopes of the straight lines. We can find also the average rate from the purple line, while the red line shows the instantaneous rate at 300 seconds, and the blue line shows the initial rate. What is mean by instantaneous rate? Instantaneous rate is the rate of reaction at a specific time, while average rate is the changes in concentration per time taken. For example, the final concentration of bromine minus initial concentration of bromine per time taken for the concentration change to occur. Differential rate equation a differential rate equation enables the relationship between the rate of disappearance of reactants and the formation of products. Let's consider the reaction given. The rate law expresses the relationship of the rate of a reaction to the rate constant and the concentration of the reactants raised to some powers. Let's consider the below reaction. The rate law can be written as rate equal to K times concentration A power of M and concentration B power of N, which is K is rate constant, A is the molar concentration of reactant A, B is the molar concentration of reactant B, M is the order of reaction with respect to A, and N is order of reaction with respect to B. The summation of N plus N represents the overall reaction order. Rate constant K is the proportionality constant that relates the reaction rate to the concentrations of reactants in the rate law. The rate law also known as rate equation. The word rate in the rate law also can be replaced by the differential rate expression as below. Reaction rate depends on concentration but rate constants does not. 
the rate constant K only affected by temperature and catalyst. Rate law expression enables us to calculate the rate of reaction from the rate constant and reactant concentration. It can also be used to determine the concentration of reactants at any time during the course of a reaction. Order of reaction Order of reaction is the power to which the concentration of a reactant is raised in a rate law. The order of reactant is not related to the stoichiometric coefficients of the reactants in the balanced chemical equation. So, the value of reaction order only can be determined by experiment. Individual order and overall reaction order. Rate equal to K, concentration A order of X, concentration B order of Y. Reaction is X order in A and reaction is Y order in B. So, both are individual order. The reaction is X plus Y order as an overall order. In the syllabus, there are three orders that need to be studied. For single rectangle, the rate law can be written as rate equal to K concentration A order of zero. The rate is not depend on concentration A at all, means this is the zero order with respect to A. Since this is a single rectangle, so the overall order also equal to zero order. Zero order usually take place in metal, catalyzed and biochemical processes. The second one is first order. So the rate law can be written as rate equal to K times concentration A. If the concentration A is double, so the rate of reaction becomes double or increased by factor of 2. Let's say the initial concentration A equal to 1 molar. So the rate of equation equal to K times 1. But if the A is double from 1 molar to 2 molar, so rate equal to K times 2 and rate equal to 2K times concentration A. So we know this is first order with respect to A and first order overall. And this first order reaction usually occur in radioactive reaction. The third one is second order. For single rectangle, the rate law can be written as rate equal to K times concentration A power of 2. If the concentration A is double, so the rate of reaction becomes quadruples or increased by factor of 4. Let's say the initial concentration A equal to 1 molar, so rate equal to K power of 1 squared, which is also equal to K. If the concentration of A is double from 1 molar to 2 molar, so rate equal to K times 2 power of 2, which is also equal to 4K times concentration A. So this is second order with respect to A. Since this is the single rectangle, so the overall order also equal to second order.